Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld, episode 13 and welcome back to Dawn Springs Heights. Thankfully, I managed to rename it thanks to um, old Termulus, uh, I used the debug menu to correct that small error that I made, yeah. Meanwhile, Logan is having a good old rest in here while Ronan chops down a tree outside. Our little base here is slowly starting to come together. I really want to prioritize this this time. So I th I'm thinking, oh, Leon's going to go do some butchering. Nice. We do need some more meat on the go. I'm going to have a look at the work. And I reckon... Yeah... Logan needs to be number one on construct, and he is, he is, so he should be able to do that. We'll make that his priority. Obviously, after he's eaten, and once he's good to go, we'll be, we'll be happy. I feel like we've got enough wood for now, that I would just, like, run into, uh, do that. Oh, he's gonna train Harito for a bit, that's cool. Let's give him, feeding him some meat. That's good. So, we're training Harito obedience at the moment but it, it be, could be quite interesting um to get Hirito to be able to haul um i'm not quite sure i mean even rescue as well i mean yeah it would be great hmm very interesting all right keep on soaring buddy because we need those planks Sounds like Noah's getting a build on. Good. So, the reason we haven't done that yet is because we don't have any steel ore available to us. So, we're just going to have to track some down. There is still a decent amount of it around. See, we've got this up here. So, we're just going to allow them to grab that. So, Loken should theoretically run and go and grab one of those. I'm just going to have him prioritize to work on that. Oh, there was steel ore really close. <laughs> Apparently. And you're going to haul that. And he is, he is actually... I would really like him to finish that. What do, what do you need? Wood planks. A decent amount of wood planks. Okay. Alright. So we do need a few. 50, in fact. So probably the reason it hasn't been constructed yet is because... Um, the walls and other bits and pieces are being getting constructed. I don't know why he's just sitting outside and doing that. Um, to make matters worse, I am actually going <laughs> to build a few other little bits and pieces in their rooms here. I want to have somewhere where they can where they can eat by themselves if they feel like it. So I think we'll do that in each of the rooms. Make sure those are actually made out of planks. Oh, damn it. Okay, so the rim dogs do seem to be um, aggressive. Alright. Oh, god damn it. Holy shit. What happened to Gwyn? She's now incapacitated at the moment. This is crazy. Okay, from now on, not letting any of these dogs near my base. Holy shit. Okay. Leon, you're going to jump in the fray. Actually, where's Noah at the moment? Noah needs to kill that other dog. Where the hell it is. Okay, you know what? Back up a bit. And then I'll let you shoot at it. Damn. Guinevere got wrecked then. Um, okay. So I'm just trying to think about the fastest way to, to help her out here. Okay, I mean, Logan's hurt already himself, but... Well, we're gonna have some more meat. Come on, Noah. Well, I mean, I don't really feel sorry for them. Leon, go help poor Gwyn out. Because she's in a bad, bad way. Get her inside. Shit. 
Okay, we're going to make that a medical bed as well. Because Logan needs treatment. We're going to undraft you, bud. Rest until healed. I mean, I could probably try and rescue these dogs, but right now, you know, I don't really give a fuck about them, you know? Alright, you need to get doctoring. Um, prioritize healing. Okay, that's strange. Uh, because she's already doing it? No, she's going to rest. Why is she going to rest? Yeah, she's going to feed her? No, she's just going to rest there. Why is she doing that? Are you not... Is this not a medical bed? Do we not have medicine still available? What's going on? I'm very confused, sorry. Uh, psh, yep, that should be working just fine. I don't know why Noah isn't able to prioritize treating. Uh, I was being an idiot for some reason. I wasn't seeing treating. Oh, gosh. What's going on with me there? I don't know why that was a thing. He's sleeping and healing. He'll live for now. We will kill that dog, though. Definitely. 100%. Um, what happened to Noah? She is actually going to go and treat him. Okay, good. What's Logan's condition like? It's just a scratch. I mean, it's, it's a very, very slow bleeding rate. I'm fine to actually leave Logan as he is. Well, Noah will probably try and treat him. Okay. Good. Noah's gone to sleep. Okay. Damn. Not not a great start there. Okay, she's no longer incapac incapacitated. Oh, no, she's no longer capable of walking. I hope that's going to come right. Once she's, um, ah, oh, there we go. Phew. Okay. Well, Logan's, Logan's fine. No, no scars or anything. It's just a little, a little scratch. But, um, we will definitely get Noah to, well, first of all, help out Gwen. Get her better. But, um, we will get her to hunt down that other dog. And I can't believe this one's still alive. Okay, we've got mad animals now as well. A squirrel. Okay. I wouldn't know how to take care of it. This thing's fast. Oh, come on. It's just a squirrel. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. How bad? Just scratches. They'll be fine. I could probably just let her rest. Yeah. She'll be alright. Um, Guinevere is going to be okay. She's going to be fine. I wanted to actually equip that. Alright, let's check on everyone else. We are getting some construction done there, which is good. Um, yeah, I want to... <laughs> want to get that research bench up and running because Guinevere isn't going to be able to do a hell of a lot until she does so um I like him training Carlito but for now I need him to prior prioritize his soaring yeah actually you know what we're gonna have to we're gonna have to change that so Ronan you're no longer training handle okay there we go Crafting is your top priority. Yeah, good. Get to it. Okay, the bed is done. Okay, good. So, we've got four beds so far, which is good. Looks like Logan's got a room. Leon's got a room. Gwen's got a room. You know what? We're going to give Noah a room. There we go. Oh my god. 
What is wrong with her? I mean, that elf, I'm pretty sure that Alphalo was sleeping. Now she's going to die. What is her problem? You might be able to tell that I'm a little bit annoyed. And yeah, I am. I am. I'm freaking annoyed. There is no reason for her to have started attacking that freaking, um... This Alphalo. No reason at all. And it's saying it's taking revenge, which means that she was probably the one who attacked it. Now I try not to hit Gwyn. Okay. I feel bad killing this thing. Oh, it's, uh, it's sped up. It's getting faster. Okay, we're gonna need help. Noah, fall back. Whoa, easy. Okay. Ah, we're, we're okay. We're all right. Well, we, we survived the Alpha Lowe's Revenge. We've got more meat again. Um, <laughs> so, we're doing okay on that front. But again, Gwyn's... God damn it. Low medicine, yeah, I know, we, we're going to be running out with Gwyn attacking things all the time. I think she's taking after the um, the other people that came here. Yeah, we don't want dead bodies to be stored here. That is a no-no. want them to be stored at the top, and it's going to be critical that they're stored there. Oh, man. Well, not super happy with how that went down. If I'm being honest. And um, now we're going to have to spend more medicine on Gwyn. Not stoked about that, folks. Yeah. I mean, she got a cracked jaw. So she's probably going to be out of it for a while. Now we're sleeping in a partially constructed room. Um, that, that rim dog, I don't know where it went to. Oh, it did, it did actually... It's almost bled out. It's been bleeding all over the show. Um, we are going to mark it as huntable because I want I want it to be killed because that thing has done us some damage. Did I make that out of wood? I did. Oh no, they're all the same color. That's good. And there's actually a plant in there. Why is all that? Oh, because we can't actually fit it there. We've got so much meat there, we can't actually store it. Holy crap. Um, you know what? We don't need this to be as big as it is. Um, so we're just going to very quickly create a stockpile here of planks. All right. We're going to allow a clear all. We want wood planks to be stored there. Just like that. Then we're going to go back to our zones. And we're just going to extend that one there. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Work with me here. Let's try and extend it now. Nope. I'm doing this wrong. I apologize. <laughs> it's just one of those days today. For some reason, I'm just... There we go. Don't know why that was giving me such a hard time. Um, so now if I start a new zone down here, we will just have this for planks. Oh, gosh. No, I don't suppose there's any chance of me being able to extend that. Is there? From here? Oh, no, okay, we got it done. Okay. All right. Well, we've got we've got quite a bit of food, so that's something at least. God, we've got some just sitting outside. Leon is just cooking up a storm. We are getting some more planks made, which is good. 
Um, and thankfully, we actually had enough to get this um, little research bench done. So Guinevere is now finally being able to research agriculture because next up for us is going to be security because um, we're going to we're going to need it out here. We've already made some enemies with the um, the shadow hatchets, and no doubt they will be back. And yeah, they won't be happy. But I'm liking this. It's looking. It's a nice little place that they've got here. Each of them. And I'm probably going to do the same for each of them. Give them uh, a little daylily in their room. Uh, Ronan, <laughs> you will have a room soon. We're on our way to constructing that, my friend. It's slowly getting there. Um, so I am going to be shifting all of the stuff closer. This is going to be our panic room. Um, but just for the time being, we are going to leave it alone. Oh, we, ki we killed that rim dog. Nice. Good job. Whoever did that. Good on you. And he was actually eating on his table there. So, I'm glad that they've got their own little space to uh, to live in. Hopefully we'll see some plant cutting done down there. How are these? Actually, very close to being harvestable. I'm actually going to mark that rim dog as huntable as well. Although, I wonder if we can try and tame it. You know what? We'll try and tame it. There we go, and look at this, Logan is harvesting, and Noah's actually talking to the rim dog, giving it some food, trying to tame it. Okay, well we've got the uh, great potato harvest going on at the moment, and whether or not they'll be able to get another lot of it done, yeah, we'll have to see. But at least the potatoes are going to last a very, well, at least a reasonably... A reasonable long time these salads they don't though so that's why we're going to be making sure that cook simple salads we're going to have it do until we have 10 yeah 10's a good amount just because they don't last very long at all without um any kind of refrigeration Looks like we might actually be able to get agriculture done. More planks, always good. We are out of wood now though. We kind of smashed through that really quickly. Um, we're going to come over here. We're going to designate all this wood here to be chopped down. Because um, we will need to clear that for building. For building purposes. Yeah, a lot of the stuff is going to shift um, down towards the coast as it seems to be a pretty defendable position for us. Oh, and we actually have another bed. So, congratulations, Ronan. You finally have a room of your own. Look at that. You don't have to sleep in the... <laughs> you don't have to sleep in the dog's room. Although, I'm probably actually going to have Hurito's bed um, in there. We're going to have this as our prison for now, I think. We're going to set prisoners and little Hirito's bed. I'm not going to slaughter the dog, gosh. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Animal sleeping spot. There you go. Because Ronan, I think you got a friend. He's, he's working away already, which is great. Good. Leon's getting cooking. I'm liking that. Ooh. The pigs of persecution. So maybe they heard that we were we were a little bit um, a little bit easy to take, perhaps. So we've got Jimmy, who's a gangster. He's carrying a pickaxe, and we've got um, Grump over here. Grump is an assassin. He's forty, and he's carrying a hand culverin. So, you know, they're not super well equipped. Um, let's quickly go check there. Okay, so he's pretty good when it comes to melee, and he's actually a decent shooter. Oh, because he's an assassin, he really ain't good for much else. Um, he's incapable of a lot of things. So this guy, I'd be fine if he dies. What about you, my friend? You're actually a pretty good miner. Hmm. This guy here, Mole. I, uh, I wouldn't... Oh, there's another person behind him. Ooh, I didn't see him. And the other person's carrying a pickaxe as well? No, he's carrying a Lebman M1907. So that's Mole that's carrying that. And he's actually pretty good at um, shooting. But then we've got Jimmy Lander, who's the one who's carrying the pickaxe. And 
yeah, I mean, they're, they're decent. They are going to pose a threat for us. But that's a threat we're going to be dealing with next time. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Rykon. You've all been awesome. And until then, stay tuned.